By the year 2030, California's population will increase by 30 percent, surpassing 50 million. Adapting will require highly efficient, safe and clean transportation alternatives that support our growing economy and protect our landscape and environment. This is California High Speed Rail. The strain on transportation facilities uh, will exceed and just overwhelm mobility in California. The options are either expand the highways, expand the, the runways, and expand the airport gates, all at a cost of over $82 billion. We can build the high-speed train for half that cost. Over the past four decades, high-speed trains have proven to be the safest and most reliable form of transportation in the world and are ideally suited for the unprecedented needs of California in the 21st century. Moving at speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, high-speed trains will link California from San Diego to Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area. A trip from San Diego to Los Angeles in under an hour and 20 minutes. Los Angeles to Fresno in less than an hour and a half. Downtown Los Angeles to downtown San Francisco, just over two and a half hours every time, regardless of weather. High-speed trains will also provide fast frequent service for shorter trips. Anaheim to Los Angeles Union Station in 20 minutes. Downtown Los Angeles to Palmdale and Ontario airports in 25 minutes. I believe that expanding those opportunities in a 20-minute uh, high-speed train ride from Anaheim in the center of what we call the Platinum Triangle in the middle of the densest area of all of Orange County with uh, residential densities, to be able to get from there to downtown Los Angeles in 20 minutes is a great way not only to relieve traffic congestion on freeways, but to address future uh, potential and future needs. High-speed trains are a clean technology. Running on electric power, high-speed trains will help California meet critical air quality and CO2 standards, while also protecting our landscape by using existing right-of-ways and promoting sustainable development. We think the project is designed well. There are no stops in the middle of nowhere. The stops are in existing urban areas where they should be. Plus, they've accounted for wildlife corridors, and most importantly, the effect on global warming. High-speed rail is an important part of the solution that we need to have and have soon on global warming. Requiring no operating subsidy, high-speed trains will strengthen California's economy, creating as many as 450,000 new permanent jobs. Benefits will be immediate. Moving safely on improved separated grades, slated for construction over the next decade, California's rail and road network will be vastly improved. I believe we need to focus on the future. We need to focus on our next generation. Uh, what is our planet going to look like? How is our next generation going to get to work? We need to think about the benefits in the long term and not just today. To secure California's transportation future, the California High-Speed Rail Authority is acting now to preserve right-of-ways and complete engineering and environmental studies critical to beginning operations by 2020. The longer we wait, the more money that it costs. We can't afford to waste taxpayer money by waiting. High-speed trains are a clean, safe, and cost-effective alternative for the transportation needs of the California of the 21st century. It is time once again for California to innovate. It is time once again for California to lead the way. This is High Speed Rail. <laughs>